Hey, sis, how's things? This is meant to be a live event, people. We need lights. Where's the light man? Brian! Give me a fucking spotlight. All right, let's run through this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Fame or Shame Live with your host, Laszlo. He does that, and then, shit, ow. And then I run on, and everybody claps. And then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Nah, nah, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crisis... She's my good... I love One love. One love. Well, you gotta get to work. Uh, I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Uh, hey, do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff. I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer.
Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling. working your bar for you? You got con- What's Tony been saying to you? When I agreed to come on, I gave him one rule. No watering down my bottles. And to be fair, he promised those days were behind him. You've got to serve the best quality shit nowadays, or you'll get one star on I Find Maps, and that is it for you. Believe me. Let's go. 
Thanks for the pickup. Hey, is that Connie? Hey, stranger. You know, I was wondering if you'd be on board for this one. It's Tony Prince. Of course I'm in. Hey, how'd he get you to leave the gentry? One word. Solomon. <laughs> I feel you. Kind of full. Room for one more. Good to meet you. What's up? Okay. Whatever. That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. He can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. He's a clever boy. So is this everyone? Are we going to work? Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. We all are. The warehouse is gonna be pretty sweet too. The network they set up is like lightning. Um, okay. I'll come down and check it out. One day.
you can take as many shots as you want, they won't know they're being attacked. Once you walk through those doors, there's no turning back. Well, actually, there's no turning back right now, because I've put a lot of work into this, and I'll be really, really annoyed with you if you don't go through with it. You know, I'd probably refuse to speak to you for a week, and then spread nasty rumors behind your back, and, and maybe set up a Life Invader page about what a creep you are. You know, it'd be scarier if I threatened to kill you, wouldn't it? Uh, but in the age of the internet, when nothing is forgotten, and humiliation is worse than death, <laughs> in a way... No, no, it's just not, is it? Uh, I should have made a death threat, or like, uh, at least a mutilation threat, so that I'd, you know, cut off your nose, or I'd use your ass for an ashtray, or do something with your tongue. Not that you use your tongue. The next pair of mutes I try to help in your career of crime, I'll make sure I threaten. So, since we're actually doing this, <laughs> I'm gonna talk you through it one last time. We've given you pump-action shotguns to take in. They should look intimidating enough. <laughs> now you both go in, you go in hard. There are four security cameras in the foyer. Driver, take them out as soon as you walk in the door. Then you're on crowd control. Driller, when you're in the network, you'll be able to open the vault door on your phone. Go back to the safety deposit room and start drilling. You get the box, come out of there, get in the car, and hit the road. And part of the money I put up for this job went to getting you out clean. I hired the best guy in the business to get you away from the cops. He, uh, wasn't cheap, nor the expenses he submitted, <laughs> but, you know, only the best. Uh, when you're out of the bank, all you gotta do is get to him and he'll get you out. You think you can manage that? Well, we're all about to find out.
inside. Okay, now find the safety deposit box. Are those bank robbers? Don't shoot! Oh, crap! There it is! Drill it! You found the box? Okay, go in your bag, get out the drill. Someone help us! Don't go too quick, or it's gonna overheat. If you see smoke, ease off. If the drill burns out, this whole thing will take too long. Keep going, we need that box. Initial shock, it's... That drill got another gear? Come on!
Show it to me. Mm, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. Uh, if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you. And in the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for the first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. 